YouTube. Guess who's back? You know, well, for one, you know, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing, you know, hit the notification bell. Y'all know the third these are. I don't really have time to go through all that because y'all already know what's going on. Because it's just like, if you agree and it resonates, why would you not subscribe? <laughs> all right. So, look, we got shit to talk about. Know that. All right. Um, Make sure you follow me on TikTok. Make sure you follow me on TikTok. We're going to read the prayer that just came up on the phone. Because everything happens in divine timing. From Hebrews 4.12. Excuse me. The word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It cuts all the way through to where soul and spirit meet, to where joints and marrow come together. It judges the desires and thoughts of the heart. And you know what's crazy? What car we got today in Deadly Good on TikTok? Boom. Skull of Darkness. And what did I tell y'all about that being revealed? And it's funny that that was... It's funny I even had to read the verse, okay? Because, you know, it just, it, it just don't do shit for coincidence, okay? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm going to read it to y'all, too. I'm going to read the full thing because I ain't read the full thing on TikTok. I just read part of it. All right, boom. Here we go. The beautiful, mysterious skull of darkness encourages us to look to the part of ourselves that normally remains hidden or as an unseen as possible. Hmm. Sounds a little bit like this verse that I just read. Mm, okay. We may not appreciate or like certain aspects of ourselves, and yet sometimes our greatest treasures lie within these areas. How many times have you heard of a famous artist or people extremely successful in their fields being bullied for being different? Yet... It is their very differences from others that make them so powerful. Additionally, all of us at some stage of our life have certain blind spots that may cause us grief and trouble. Although we cannot see the issue clearly, it is the repeated patterns of pain that may alert us, alert us to them. Symptoms, if you will. For example... The same things keep happening over and over again. We may be betrayed repeatedly, fail at something repeatedly, not complete tasks continually. Peace and pattern breaking can be achieved by doing the work and uncovering our blind spots or even consulting trusted friends or professionals to assist us in what we cannot. 2.44 as I finish on the clock. The verse says, the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It cuts all the way through to where the soul and the spirit meet. What does that sound like to me? That sounds like intuition, third eye, two eyes, throat chakra, heart chakra. That's what it sounds like. And you know what's crazy? I'm going to do a separate video about my spiritual awakening symptoms and Kudalini and shit like that. What the fuck I felt like it went through. And, you know, I'm going to do another video. I ain't even going to make y'all have to do all this extra shit and, you know, skip through shit. But let me go ahead and fucking tell y'all. Yesterday, first of all, the energy, the, I, and I told y'all this last week in, in the YouTube Daily Glitter about how, like, the energy the first week, the two weeks of November was going to be extremely fucking powerful last week a bitch was on a spirit um ordered vacation mm -hmm. now of course it was you know my time of month or whatever but this this time it was it was severe like they was like don't move sit in silence sit in solitude now as an Aries, as a person that is a go-getter, I looked at my south note, my homegirl, she put me on about my past life and shit like that. And why I'm always on go, 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 go. Um, and, you know, I, I fight with sometimes, you know, actually sitting still. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like if I'm not doing nothing, I'm not doing what God told me to do. And what God is making it very clear to me is who told you that you have to burn yourself out to work? Why don't you think that now that you don't work in corporate, even when you worked in corporate, why do you feel now that you cannot take a break? I was on a week. You know what's even crazier? When when Wednesday came last week, and that was the new moon, my, my what you call it started right on the new moon. 
that same day I decided to take out, I had literally just did my hair. Y'all know I did the little side part or whatever. I had literally just did my hair and something was like, take it out. Everything just needed to be free of me. Like I needed to be free, open and clear. And it was like, they're like, you know, and, and not saying that a weave, you know, messes up your downloads, but it's just like, they just wanted me to be clear. They wanted me to be able to run the water through my hair. They wanted to me to do all that stuff to understand the downloads that were coming. So a lot of epiphanies was coming and you know what kept coming up and it came up in my dream. Ace of swords. You know what the ace of swords is? It's clarity. I keep trying to tell y'all, it's a lot of clarity, a lot of revealing Scorpio season. That's why I kept saying Scorpio season is going to be a fucking movie. This is a movie in the sense of look at all the fucking events that are happening. Just look. Look at all the astrological shit. That's all the, it's so much astrological shit happening in Scorpio season in itself. Major shit. Major shit. So the major shit that's happening is causing a major shift in people. I remember I told y'all that people are going to start getting word vomit. They're going to start wanting to be apologetic or they're going to start having to tell motherfuckers, I don't fucking play with you like that. Don't fucking play with me like that. You get what I'm trying to say? Sticking up for themselves, verbalizing it because now it's, it's that toxicity shit is not going to work. The tactics that people used to do, it's not going to work because it's been revealed to you. And another thing about it is, it's, it, it, it was for y'all to get y'all mouth together because they were showing you the clarity. When you get clarity, I, I told y'all last week, once you receive clarity, it's now in question of, do you love yourself or not? Blind spots coming up about the things that are hidden within us that we decide that we don't, you know, we don't want to acknowledge at times or we don't want to embrace at times or we're too embarrassed because we think about, you know, how other people think. Then last week, we got the spider about community. You wouldn't have to worry about feeling no type of way if you was fucking with people on your fucking wavelength. Yeah, check that shit out. How that shit sound. Yeah, don't, don't it sound crazy when it finally come out somebody's mouth like, damn, you fucking right. I wouldn't even have to worry about who don't support me and who don't if I'm fucking with folks on my shit. If I'm fucking with myself. So if I'm fucking with myself and I'm fucking with people on my shit, that means I don't even have time to even worry about the people that I, that I don't fuck with, that don't fuck with me, that don't agree with me, that aren't aligned with me. The job. It, 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 it brings so much clarity in the sense of you start saying, you know what? And I made a video. It's crazy because a lot of the videos that I made when I first started... I, I don't want to say when I first started my journey, but when I first started my journey, kind of, and I was just channeling shit and I wasn't really pulling cards. I was just really just talking. It's playing out now. It's like I had already prophesized a lot of the shit that's happening to me before without me even knowing it. Because I remember telling y'all, you get to a point where you'd be like, bro, I don't, fuck you, fuck this, fuck them. I don't have time for that. I want to do what makes me happy. And right now, bitch, you, 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 you fucking with the happiness. And, and let me just say this. When it comes to being happy, I'm a bit. I can't afford to not be happy. I can't afford that. So as the as the universe is now revealing all these things, the universe is now, you know, they they they're they I told y'all it's the structure. So now your structure about how you make your money, your friends, your love partners, your love yourself, all that shit has been broken down to build back up. So now you know that this is a solid foundation and anything that is no longer solid can no longer be in here because now you have become my weakest link. If I've taken all my weaknesses and made them my strengths and you, just, you, you, you as a person or you as a job or you as a what you call it is a weakness, you're now the weakest link. You got to go. We 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 got to go right now. I got to go. I, I can't do this with you. You see what I'm saying? And then... I got to find this clip in a live that I did, but I told these folks, it is a new type of celebrity. I have been calling myself a new type of celebrity for a very long time, okay? Because it wasn't going to be about how I looked. It wasn't going to be about how how how, how my bags was work. It wasn't going to be about that. It was going to be about how the fact that I'm a real ass bitch and I keep that shit a buck. I pass on wisdom free game. That's what real OGs do. Real OGs put people up on game. The game is not sold. The game is told, not sold. I don't got to sell all that. All that all, the money's going to come in my vibration because I'm going to touch it. 
It's going to come because I attract it. Anything that I want is going to come to me. So therefore, I don't got to be hustling and bustling. So I told y'all, I was going to become a, a, a new type of celebrity based off my wisdom. And now look, now everybody's about to start asking the healers, the tarot readers, the real ones. Because there's some fake ones out there because I told you they found out it was the money in that bag. I told people, stay out of the bag. Stay out of the bag. Stay out of people bag because you found out it was some money in that bag, in that business. Stay out of people business. Okay? But this is what I'm saying. Now motherfuckers is coming to you like how you do X, Y, and Z. I tried to tell y'all it's about your intent. I tried to tell you it's about your morals and your values. We do not give a fuck about your pockets. We do not give a fuck about, about the, the baddest bitch you're fucking or the, or, the, or the finest nigga you fucking, the richest nigga. They don't care. We don't, it, we don't, we do not care. We do not care. Okay? This is spirit talking from spirit to y'all. We do not care. They don't care. They don't give a fuck about none of that shit. Do you think God cares about that? Do you? Okay. I just want to make sure we all in the same accord about how God do not care about that. Jada. I tried to tell folks. I told folks back then. I told folks back then, but y'all need to pay attention to what you're doing. Because that is how it's going to move. Now, watch. And then, you know, I told this on TikTok and I'm going to tell y'all on YouTube, Okay. Don't allow people to watch her come up right now. You're going to, you're about to step into a season that you have never stepped into. Don't allow people to just watch her come up. Why would you do that? And I know everybody's always like, you ain't got no haters, you ain't popping, or you ain't got the, yeah, 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 yeah. I understand that. But I am a fan of, I don't want that shit. Why the fuck is you being so fucking nosy? Why is you being so nosy? You see what I'm saying? If you not, if you don't support me, if you, if you don't add on to it, what do you feel like your placement is here? It seems to me that you are now the weakest link and you got to go. And if you ever decide that you were going to take social media so serious to confront somebody about their platform about that, do you know how embarrassing you look? I'm trying to tell y'all. I am When I tell y'all, I, I literally, 11, 11 on the clock, amen. I literally preach this shit. So you, it was a, it's about the mind. I preach for people to have a powerful mind so people can't fuck with you. When they can't fuck with you, it allows you to see where they're embarrassing themselves. So now why do you even 12, 12 when I said it? You're embarrassing yourself. Don't be out here embarrassing yourself. Cousin OG just told y'all, don't be out here embarrassing yourself. Don't be allowing people's energy and don't be allowing people's, people's what you call it to, you know, get you all discombobulated and shit. You trying to figure out why you can't move because it's, it's too many eyes watching you. Protect yourself. Protecting yourself is also blocking motherfuckers. I don't care nothing about that, baby girl. You, now you're going to have to get a fake page to watch me. I don't know. But the fact that you're doing it and you're bluntly doing it, it's showing that. That's weird. And I used to post this shit on Tinder. <laughs> I'm going to pull cards in a minute. But I used to post this shit on Tinder like, don't be on no weird shit. And people used to be like, oh, who, who, what do you mean by weird shit? You know what the fuck I mean by weird shit. It's so crazy how we've normalized so much weird shit that people don't see anything wrong with it. That is, They have to ask you what weird shit. You know what weird shit we're talking about. Stop being weird. That's weird behavior. It's weird behavior. Okay. So we're going to get a couple from the Moonology deck. Because earlier, y'all messages was very, like, quick and vague. Quick and vague. Okay, let's see what we got. I don't go spilling on about shit for no reason. Expect powerful changes. Expect them. Believe in the impossible. That's what I just see in my head. Believe in the impossible. Because it's happening. I just heard it's happening. It's happening. It's a time to give rather than take. And this is the day. I always tell y'all, to me, that card is always Mother Earth, Buddha, God, whoever you believe in. This is them giving it to you. They're giving it to you. What the fuck? What the fuck did a bitch just say? What did I just say? Thank you, spirit. Check me. Believe in the impossible. You don't need folks watching your come up. You don't need you don't need to be in an energy of lack. You don't need that. You don't lack anything. You are your own person. 
the tower. I'm telling you, it's a lot of divine intervention. It's a lot of movement in the tower. Also, it's just sudden change. Expect powerful changes and then the damn tower comes out. Eight of Pentacles. And you know, the Eight of Pentacles always comes out. And Eight of Pentacles for me is always that this is something you worked on. That's why I said it's a time to give rather than take. What they always say, the the the, the, the student is a teacher. Once a teacher, the, the, the student becomes a teacher, the teacher leaves or some shit like that. But what I'm trying to tell y'all is this is the universe saying, hey, this is what we worked on. We got you. We got you. We You worked on this. You worked on this. This is your... Come on. Hello? It's, it's, it, it, it's spirit in my house for me right now. They always in my house, but they in it right now. They, they, they talking through me. I, I, I'm, I'm OG with the personality, but everything I'm telling y'all, that's them. That's it. You work for this. And y'all remember last week I kept trying to tell y'all, you now know how your Ten of Pentacles looks. They're going to give it to you. I told y'all I attract everything that I want. Literally, I I literally manifested some lamps. Mm -hmm. But so look, I always be talking about how I want to do all this stuff to my room and my house and stuff like that. And something woke up in me last week and was like, move your stuff around. Move, move the room around. I woke up and I became two men in a truck by my goddamn self. Okay. And I, I was on the phone with my homegirl. You know, I'm telling her all about, you know, what I'm saying, you know, what's going on. Um, I was telling her about what was going on and I said, damn, I need two more lamps. You know, so I, think, I think that'll work in my room. You know, so I need two more lamps and I want some fake plants. I left to go get sushi. I came back. Somebody had put two lamps out there and three fake plant pots, two lamps and two, three fake plant pots. Brand new. They was just outside. Like somebody was about to throw them away. I said, that's a manifesting for your ass. Allow them to bring this shit to you. Allow them to bring this change. Allow them to bring this 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 new this new realm. Allow them to bring it right on to you. King of Swords, Judgment, and Seven of Pentacles. That Eight of Pentacles. This is that. This is you working on these investments. You see how all he's doing is allowing his energy to to um, grow his seeds. Everybody playing with the damn Pentacles. Everybody, no, all the Pentacles that was right here, right? All these pinnacles that was right here. Not everybody playing with them because that's the community. That's the community. This this, this is tangible things. This is your community. Your kids, your friend, your lovers, family, whoever. This is, this is that. King of Swords and Judgment. It's the higher calling of what the universe is doing. Did you hear the call? And you know King of Swords? I keep trying to tell you that sword is clarity. King of Swords, he knows the clarity. He knows the clarity. He don't you look. We're not going back and forth. He doesn't go back and forth. He's not doing all that. And also, you know what I also feel like? I'm not a twin flame reader. I'm not a twin flame reader. Okay? It's funny that I say that and then the love is on the bottom of the deck. I am not a twin flame reader. But a lot of y'all unions are coming. A lot of y'all unions are coming. Hold up. Did y'all hear me? A lot of y'all unions are coming because now your cup runs over for what you want. The Ten of Pentacles is the community. Yeah. Yeah. You, you fill your own cup up. And now the universe is about to fill it up even more with what they want. You ever heard God say, um, when, when I, when I send, what he, what God be saying? I'm talking about what God be saying. <laughs> what, what, what did he say? When I, when I give back, I, either way, when God, God always say, when he give back, he give back tenfold. Anything that you ever lost, he's going to give it back in doubles and tenfold. Tenfold. Intuition. Leap of faith. The love for yourself. Because I told y'all, don't be out here embarrassing yourself. Cousin OG told you, don't be out here embarrassing yourself. Don't be embarrassing yourself. For what? Why would you be out here embarrassing yourself? You love yourself, right? You love yourself. I love you, but you love you, right? Yeah. Don't be out here embarrassing yourself. All right. Let me go ahead and get a card from the Spirit of Will Meditation. And we're going to go. Because, I mean, honestly, this is a short reading. Because it, 
first of all, the first 13, 14 minutes was a channel message of everything I already said. And uh, you know what's crazy? And it's so funny that they told me to bring this up, and I did, I forgot all about it. 11-11 was on the clock, and they like, you forgot to say 11-11 is tomorrow. 11-11 is new beginnings, and it's a portal. It's a portal of new beginnings and what you're manifesting. Watch, watch, watch how shit about to transpire for people. Watch how, watch how people about to glow up on some other shit. Watch, just watch that shit. Watch that shit. Watch that shit. Just watch. All right. All right. Let's get We're gonna end this video. Watch how people that have been doing the work and filling up their cup. Watch, watch, watch. Watch how they watch. Watch, watch what happened. Balance relationships, self expression, and boundaries. And wisdom. 33, master number. I told you. And that master number, 33 of the master number is also like, I'm telling you, it's like ascended masters. 333, three, three, everything come in threes. Oh, let's read it. 17, which is uh, also goes into 8. 8 is the number of abundance and new beginnings. All right, here we go. Mm, and this is, um, I think this is Aquarius. This is the star. Healing, dreams, wishes. Here we go. You have a natural ability to give without expectation. Being gentle and caring towards others comes naturally for people born under the rest and cleansing moon. This is the, um, um, this is, you know, Aquarius are the water berries, but this is also like that king of swords energy of clarity. Mm -hmm. All right, here we go. You may find yourself being pulled in many different directions by those around you who need your help because you naturally put others first. This card serves as a reminder to maintain your personal boundaries. If you forgive others too easily, you set yourself up for being hurt. Be a doormat and others will try to take advantage of your good nature. People will respect and admire you if you are clear in how much you are willing to give. Take a breather from serious approach, approach towards life. Express yourself in a positive and healthy way that brings you joy. Spend time with children in creative activities. Love yourself and here's that loving yourself. <laughs> yeah. Love yourself enough to develop special relationships with people who reciprocate the love and support you freely. What the fuck did I say? It is your community that is bringing you forward. All of that. Okay, here's the prayer. Lord, help me to open myself to receiving love and support, to maintain healthy, loving, and balanced relationships with others. Help me accept I receive love because I am worthy of love. And then 33, wisdom. You know how you gain wisdom? By learning how to love yourself, to learning how your Ten of Pentacles looks. That's how you gain wisdom. All right, here we go. Boom. And what did I say about that teacher shit? One second. A teacher may be appearing on the scene, so give him or her the honor and respect deserved. Wisdom is a gift that should never be taken lightly. Look for teachings everywhere around you, like the owl observing quietly from a distance. According to the universal law, you're in a position to receive something of value. Balance the scales of spiritual justice, and that's the wisdom of the justice. Here's that justice call, the heat in the call. Balance the scales of spiritual justice by sharing your gifts of wisdom with others when the right moment arises. Open your heart to the elders in your community. Offer them your love and compassion and any assistance they may need. They may share some of their life with you in return. Remember, wisdom in all is power always leads us to further enlightenment. Lord, I open my heart to the teachings that are all around me and that I am thankful for the wisdom I receive. I'm aware there is a spiritual law governed by a higher power that exists on the principles of unconditional love and compassion. I love my job. I love my job. All right, I love you guys. Have a good day. Don't forget, follow me on all my social medias. Readings are still, readings, all um, Patreon tiers are 13% off. All Scorpio season. And then I might do something for Sagittarius season just because, you know, it's about to be a free shit type of shit. You know what I'm saying? It was an action movie, all these events popping up. Sagittarius is about to be a lot of free and happiness and joy. So, I love you. Mwah! Have a good day. Happy Wednesday. Happy hump day.